So a ganglion aspiration this week, sent through from a nurse colleague of mine, this is actually her neighbour. Lesion had been masquerading as a potential varicose vein, it had been scanned and thought not to be a vein, it was thought to be ganglionic, so it had been sent through to me by Bev, thank you Bev, for an aspiration. Others have pointed out that it is an, an somewhat of an odd shaped lesion, which I didn't see until afterwards, and now I've seen it, I can't unsee it, but uh, see what you think. Yeah, absolutely. So this young man come see me with this. Now this is just the most fascinating shape. And you've been scanned, Kev, haven't you? And they say yes. it's a ganglion. The initial thought was it was a variscosity, and you can see why, because it's kind of more, more of a tube than a bubble. So for diagnostic purposes, Kev, we're basically going to see what's what's in it. Okay. Yeah. So it's basically a taking a wide bore needle. Okay, so that's a 19 gauge, nice right. big white needle. Now, hopefully there'll be a wee scratch. Okay, so three, two, one, out. And then we'll see how much of that sun tan of yours is real and how much of it is pretend. Okay, so it's ganglion, Kev. Jelly fluid coming out. You got it. So yeah. wallpaper paste is ganglion. Yeah. If it comes out and it's like cottage cheese, that's a sebaceous cyst. Yeah. So all of that, the long there is ganglion as well, it's all ganglion. Oh yeah, it's got a vein. Multilobulated or sometimes multiloculated. Wow. So I'm putting this under a bit of pressure, it forming a vacuum. And you can just see that shringe, I'm just checking you're still in shot. <laughs> I videoed a lady a couple of weeks ago and I was doing an unusual injection, which I don't normally do very often. So I said, oh, Gladys, can I inject? Can I, do, can I do a video? She went, yeah, no problem. So I pressed play, correction, I pressed record, but I hadn't pressed record, I pressed play. Stop the video is actually when I started recording. She then had a really big faint. So I missed the injection and got 15 minutes of me managing her syncope. I was actually expert at it, but there you go, I'm just saying. Oh, I don't doubt it any of But I missed those, it was quite oh. funny. Anyway, anyway, I digress. Now this is disappearing like the money from my bank account halfway through the month. There are reasons for that. Well, so I'm sure we'll manage to top that up for you though. <laughs> okay, so yeah. that's soap so far. Now I'm just gonna go, you see what, I'm gonna do a wee scratch yeah. again. Three, I see I speak Scottish. I'm in Scotland tomorrow actually. Let's see if we can get any more of that. So, and then what I'm gonna do after I've got as much juice off as possible, I'm gonna see if I can just do a little bit of peppering of the kind of the sack. Now on occasion, just by doing a bit of trauma to the sack, we can actually get it to kind of scar down. So I've had some patients, not many, where aspiration is, is all you need. Okay. And I think we should all have aspiration, shouldn't we really? It's a good thing to have in life. It is. Okay, so that's a, a decent amount of ganglionic fluid. Wow. So you can actually, you can send this off to the lab if any doubt, but I mean there are as yet undiscovered tribes in Brazil that know that that is indeed ganglionic fluid. Let's see if I can get any more off. Oh no, there's still quite a bit in there actually. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So it is all, it is all communicating. So you can't, in, in an ideal world, you get all this with a with a needle, but yeah. in truth, you can't put under that much pressure. So that's kind of gone. Now what I'm just going to do, just back with that needle, as oh, I'm just going to do. You just, you just enjoy that part. Well, <laughs> I, enjoy, I enjoy it when I can get this needle out of the syringe. Let's get a fresh one. And I'm just going to do a couple of bits of peppering now, okay? Because yeah. sometimes that will just make all the difference to the syringe. There is a technique, I, I don't do it, they do it in hands where they, they inject basically some glue into it. So they take all the juice out, they, they inject it with some glue and then compress it down. For some reason, scratch again, it's not really caught on in the foot. Ooh. 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 Last one. So the idea is you don't need surgery, it just sort of, you know, so the ganglion itself is still there, but it's it's stuck down. 
Ooh, you feel like just go there? Yes. So that's trying to, that's the idea of really hitting it with, do you know the, the original thing? Do you know why they used to, to use a Bible? It was hit with the Bible. Yeah, but yeah. do you know why it was a Bible specifically, though? Uh, probably the way of the book and also some no. significance of the God. No, it needed to be a work of fiction. <laughs> Apologies to any people who are Christians who are watching this. I'm sure that magic zoo boat really did happen, yes. Right, we'll put a pressure on there now. Let's just hope I press play. Yes, he did. So we apply a small compressor dressing for a few days and it's my suspicion that aspiration with peppering to try and get the lesion to fibros in is probably better than aspiration alone, but I can't prove it. This is just a few slides from the, um, the NHS site um, website coming up. There you go. Um, just to say about aspiration. So aspiration carried out in an outpatient department. It's simple and painless. You know, it's just a wee scratch, as they would say in Scotland getting the fluid off. So although it's probably not that effective from a therapeutic point of view, it has real merit from a diagnostic point of view. Because if you can take some fluid off, which you can send off for histo, you absolutely know it's a ganglion. I've had a couple of lesions where I've not been able to aspirate them. And that's because they've not been fluid filled, they've been solid. You can't always tell sometimes the lesions are so full and turgid, T-U-R-G-I-D, that you can't actually tell whether it's fluid filled or not. So there's a diagnostic value to it. And there's obviously a dot to pimple popper value to it as well. So for this particular guy, he's on open access. He'll give me a shout if it, if it refills and then we can have a discussion about surgical excision. As always, guys, thanks for watching.